Um, let me show you what we've done here. Is I did some testing on the best short barrel size, and that's around um, 135 millimeters. So I went ahead and cut that here. It's nice and smooth right there, so that should be fine. And then the outer barrel, so this is supposed to be a 14 millimeter, but look at the thread on this. You see how coarse that is? I don't think a standard 14 millimeter is going to screw right on that. So I needed a tip to cover this. Never going to use this again. So cut it here, kept the threads, and again, remember this is a, a positive thread, so that's going to go on there just fine. Again, that's smoothed out. Nice cut. Um, Alright, so the stock bolt. Still want a bolt to go in the back of the gearbox. So I cut the, the bolt down. Uh, kind of what we want to do is measure basically about that distance. So you can see when it hits the back of the inside of the gun, it's only going to go about that far in. There's only so much threads in here anyway. So, so many threads in there anyway, so that'll fit just perfect. All right, I'm gonna put that together and then moving on to paint. What's up, fellas? So I just wanna throw a LiPo battery in there real quick. And I've got the outer barrel on, the inner barrel's cut. I just kinda of wanna show you it fire. Now, um, I think the mag, mag went bad, the one that came with the gun. So I'm actually using the JG Star mag in here. It fits pretty nice, perfect, feeds pretty good. Um, single fire. I haven't touched the hop up at all. Um, but see, what I'm saying is, this is hip fire for my CSI Star 5, so or Star XR5, and that's when I'm holding that big cannon, and I'm firing and shooting around 250 to 300 feet. That's how, what I got my HPA shooting at right now. Um, someone gets in my within my DMR limits this is going to be right here on my hip so pop it off and excellent shooting just awesome so again let's see it after the paint i be going red and black now this is kind of cool because I have some uh, FX going in the paint you should be able to see it in the sun Anyway, moving on. All right, guys. There you go. It's coming together. So this piece normally has two ends, holds the barrel. I slid it off, and it looks pretty good. It's actually perfect size. This goes in like this. And then... This piece fits over it like that. And you gotta put it in there kind of tight. Unless I retained the front bearing screw. Nice tight fit. See the barrel tip? And check it out. Goes on pretty nicely. Check out the tip now. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. All right, so then right over here, uh, yeah, I got to slide this on and put the, the rails on. We'll be right back. All right, so again, you saw me put that together. This slides right on like that. Um, we have the pin. 
pin's going to go through. You have to line the pin up on this side to get it just right. And then that can be screwed in. Then our rails should go on just fine. I don't know if I have the right one wrench. Yeah, I do. Now again, I relocated these rails. Not only did I want the rails on the gun, but it also is an excellent way to support the front and making it extra solid. Gotta love the tip right there. Battery door opens. Now I had to do a cut here uh, so you can see it so the battery door doesn't hit when it opens. All right, putting the iron sights on next. Now the way that I cut this, it had enough rail space to fit the front iron sight on. And I have to commend CSI for making such a model gun. I mean, this everything about this gun, I just I just love it. You know, this one has the gearbox that came with it. I'm gonna getting an I'm getting an upgraded gearbox that I'll be able to put a 130 spring in. And then this side arm should really be smoking at that point. So uh and I'll put a gate tight in as well. So we're gonna put a programmable gate tight in it. Looking awesome. Next thing is going to be the fire test. <laughs> yeah. All right, stay tuned. Battery in. It fits just fine, even with the glass round fuse or tube fuse. Uh, you can see that here, uh, I'll have to trim this to get that to fit, but I have a rail here, rail here, rail across the top. Excellent. I'm just doing great. So let's take it out for a fire test. And here it is, guys. The CSI XR5 first in the world trim down pistol. I think it came out beautiful. We're going to do uh, a shot test here in a minute. Hey guys. All right, let's do the shooting test. So this is single shot. And then full auto. And that's, uh, I didn't adjust the hop up or anything. That's just open up. It's completely open barrel. Um, it's shooting great. Be safe, airsofters. Nice, so one more shot test. I just want to show you how light the gun is. Okay. It's heavier than a pistol, but it's got a light clip in it. And last time I shot it with two hands, I just kind of want to show you the, the effect on uh, being able to put the big gun down, pull the light one out, and fire it. Full auto. 
Okay. It was really meant to be a pistol. The whole reason to cutting the whole thing down in the first place. That's it. Yeah, be soft, guys. Or be safe, guys.